Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick fix to the OBS uh, Studio uh, Zoom to mouse uh, script. So basically, I've been um, using, using this uh, script for uh, years to record videos. And what it can do essentially is allow you to zoom to any portion of the screen by pressing a keyboard shortcut. And this can be particularly useful if I'm teaching, for example, uh, live coding and there are a lot of source codes. Um, the, Depends on the screen, the phone size can be pretty tiny. So for example, right now you're looking at this one. So at the center here, I have a code block. It's very small. I can just press keyboard shortcut and then zoom to this uh, particular code block. And when you move your mouse, you can also follow your mouse. And it's very, very powerful, very easy to use because I don't have to um, edit the video to do after the recording. So I don't need to do any video editing. I basically zoom in and zoom out on the fly when I'm teaching. And when it's recording, OBS will actually be able to zoom in and zoom out and record a video. Uh, very, very uh, useful and I've been using it, but all of a sudden it stopped working about two months ago uh, because the OBS Studio, they updated their API and it's not working anymore. So it's uh, very, very time consuming for me to do the video editing afterwards. And finally, I spent a couple hours today, I was able to get it fixed. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. By the way, if you're new to OBS, uh, if you haven't used it, I highly recommend you can go to the website obsproject.com and you should be able to just download the project uh, in the software and then install on any computer. It's cross-platform, so Windows, Mac, and Linux. And because I'm using uh, Linux on my um, as my daily operating system, so I'm going to show you how to fix it, this one. If you are using Windows and Mac, you, you can check out the... Uh, git repository so this is basically where the source code where this script is very simple you just download the script and then load it to uh, obs i'm gonna show you how to do that and so i basically i forked the project and then i fixed the script so right now i have this new one here the link is in the video description below so you can just uh, click the link and then up right corner here there's a download raw file button so if you click this one then it should download this one to your computer so for example here uh, you can download to whatever uh, whichever file, file directory uh, you want to download and then just click save you will save this one to your computer so once you um, save this file then you can open uh, OBS, OBS studio so I'm going to basically let me move my OBS here to the, to the, this screen and what you need to do is go to the tools and then um, under here click uh, script okay and then from the script you can just click here uh, load uh, click this plus icon here okay and then from here you can uh, go to the directory wherever you um downloaded the script and save to your computer and then just click open on the right here it should pop up and so basically this is where you want to change the settings of the obs uh, studio like i said it's you can just select any um, zoom source so it depends on which one you are recording so right now i'm recording my desktop so this is the zoom source we're going to zoom to this uh, desktop and then if you only have one screen then you pretty much you're done you don't need to set the manual uh, source uh, position but if you have multiple screens uh, this is the one that you need to adjust the settings so for example i have two screens uh, one is um, 1920 by 1080 so it's the one where i, I have the um, obvious uh, software opening and the other one is the, um, uh, 2560 and um, 40, uh, 1440. So this is my second screen. It's the one that I'm doing the demo here. And because I have two screens right now, I want to zoom to uh, the second screen. Then you need to change this one. So the X means is the upper left corner where you want to start zooming. And because right now on the second screen, the first one is 1920 by 1080. So that means the X, basically the horizontal, the X position, it needs to start at 1920. So you need to adjust this one. Otherwise, it's not going to zoom in correctly. Um, and if it, both your screen is 1920 by 1080, then you also want to adjust the numbers here. But because I have 2560, uh, so I'm going to use both the width and height and also the monitor width and height. So adjust to the same parameters then um this is the first step so the second step you need to do is to open the um settings so i'm, I'm going to open this one again here then go to file uh, settings and this is where you adjust the keyboard shortcut and it's very important otherwise without this one then yeah it's not very powerful because uh, you, you you need to activate uh the keyboard shortcut so basically once you open the settings and then click hotkeys 
on the filter enter zoom so basically we're going to find this one toggle zoom to mouse so this is the keyboard shortcut you can utilize so by default it's going to be just empty so on your keyboard shortcut uh, on your keyboard you can just press whatever keyboard uh shortcut combinations key combination you want to use so for me i use i, I set it as alt shift and g because those three keys are kind of together so i when i'm doing the recording i don't have to uh, look at my keyboard i can just I have my uh, hands on the keyboard. So when I need to zoom in, I can just like press. So I like this three uh, keyboard shortcut, Alt, Shift to G. Once you have that, just click apply and then okay. Then you're good to go. So now after that, um, you can open any um, screen and you can just Shift, uh, Alt, Shift, G. It will zoom to here and you will follow your mouse and I can scroll down to another uh, location again when i'm teaching i can look at my first screen right so right now i'm looking at here and then i'm teaching on the second screen and then i can zoom to this one right and from here you can follow my mouse i'm um, at the meantime i'm looking at my first screen so if you need to go back just press the um, shift alt shift and d again then you would return to the, uh, the position uh, you can adjust the zoom level if needed so um it is under again tools and then script so from here, if it's zooming too much, you can change this one to a smaller number, for example, the zoom factor. So this one can be, for example, 1.5. And also the zoom speed, uh, you can increase to be um, larger or smaller, depends on your uh, preference. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. It's very easy to use and save me tons of time, especially you're recording video tutorials. And then sometimes you, are, you need to zoom to the a small portion of the screen so that um, the user can see clearly uh, this is the way to go so and again the link to the script is in the video description below you can download it and try it out um, if it doesn't work on mac or linux uh, or windows you might need to report the issue but uh, at least it works on linux now okay so that's all i want to show you uh, in this uh, tutorial i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next one bye bye